Hey guys, and welcome to the first episode of the card discussion series. So, as you guys know, people like Silent De Sigma and Nim Nim and Mega Capital G get a ton of views just by, you know, sitting down and looking at some cards and reviewing them. So I thought, you know what, why not, you know? Uh, despite sometimes talking about some things in Daily Duels, there's never been a time where I've, you know, taken the entire time to sit down and discuss a card and actually look at it besides Fake Card Friday. So, I decided to go ahead and do a card review series, so I got a ton of catching up to do. Uh, to start it off, I'm going to be reviewing and looking at some cards in uh, the Dragons of Legends, definitely. There's a ton of cards I got to look at, um, you know, of course I'm going to be talking about Soul Charge and Guarded Treasure and the, the Fire in the Ice Hands and Curry Bandit and Mathematician, all that good stuff. But, actually... On the first episode, I'm actually going to start and look at a card that I don't think anybody else has discussed about, but I want to discuss it because, you know, me being Ubel Master, I think that this card is really interesting for Ubel. So the card we are looking at is Mound of the Bound Creator. <laughs> oh, God, I felt like I was going to mess it up. I think I was going to call it, like, Mound of the Bound Pound Town Creator. <laughs> uh, which is funny because the deck that this card is going in into I also mess up another card's name in that deck so um, specifically the reason why I wanted to bring this up and talk about this card as as you guys know if you guys watch vitamin Y Ubel Xyz recently got an alteration and changed to more like a rank 10 spam deck and one of the cards that was missing out of the rank 10 spam deck that you would think would be in there was actually uh, Malefic Cyber End. And the reason why I didn't put Malefic Cyber End in the deck is because I really felt like there wasn't a field spell that was like good enough to really run and bring out the full potential of that card in the deck. And then, you know, I was sitting there looking at the Dragons of Legend set, and next thing you know, bam, here you go, Mound of the Bound Creator. And I read that, and I'm like, wow, not only is that good for just, like, Malefic Cyber and, the, and you know, other 10s that will be ran in Ubelixis, but just Ubel in general, this card is, like, great. Like, I think Ubel has finally found her field spell. <laughs> You know, you were thinking, like, you know, maybe, like, uh, what's it called, Salvage Coliseum, or maybe, you know, the Dark World Field Spell gives, it, gives you about 300 attack, you know, but no, this right here, this is Ubel's Field Spell, so without further ado, I'm actually going to go over this card, and you're going to be like, yep, that's Ubel's Field Spell, so, Mount of the Bound Creator is a Field Spell, of course, and it reads, first sentence, guys, get ready for this, Level 10 or higher monsters on the field cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects. Bam! Right there. That's already, that's, that's already, if that's all, literally all this field spell did, I'd be happy with it. I'd be like, done. That's beautiful. Are you telling me? Are you telling me? Level 10 or higher can't be targeted or destroyed by card effects? That's beautiful. So I play this. I play Ultimate Nightmare. I cannot be targeted by card effects. I cannot be destroyed by card effects. I cannot be destroyed by battle. This fill spell plus ultimate nightmare equals eat your face off. <laughs> like, wow. That's... You better save up your MSTs. Because this, this is awesome. And this is another reason why I think it's going to be really fun in a Ubelixis deck. Because how funny would it be to just go, Mount of the Bound Creator? Some of Malefic? Yeah, I'm a 4,000 beer that can't be targeted or destroyed by card effects. And I'm 4,000, so good luck getting over my attack. You know, you're going to get it. <laughs> so, that right there is already great. You know, uh, you can have multiple Ubels on the field because, you know, it doesn't say by your opponent's card effects. It just says in general. So, literally, you can have other Ubels on the field. You can, act with this card, you can have all three forms of Ubel on the field. Why not? You know, if you first form Ubel, it would tri it would destroy yourself, but it can't because it can't be destroyed by card effects. Terror, Terror would be wiping everything, but, also, of course, the other forms of Ubel being level 10 or higher won't be destroyed by Terror, so it wouldn't be, they wouldn't be wiped. And, you know, Ultimate Nightmare... Once again, can't be destroyed by card effects or by battle, or cannot be targeted, so no more of that compulsive of that D prison. Like, oh my god, like if your opponent doesn't have that MST, they're in a lot of trouble because they are facing down some monsters. Like, through the shield spell, Ubel first form can actually stay on the field. Like, how interesting is that? Like, you can literally just go call the hunted summon Ubel with this field spell, and during the end phase, you know, tribute a monster to destroy Ubel. Ubel can't be destroyed by card effects. Therefore, Ubel is pretty much just stuck on the field, standing there like, Hi, 
I can't be destroyed by battle, I can't be destroyed by card effects, and I can't be targeted. So I'm pretty much the ultimate wall right now. Like, huh, what, Spirit Reaper? What, fucking Marshmallow? No, fucking you bell with Nound of Bound creators backing me up. Oh, yeah. And that's, and guys, look, look how happy and excited I am. That's just the first sentence. That's literally just the first sentence. Let me continue reading on. If a lever, level 10 or higher on the field destroys a monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, the player who controlled the destroyed monster takes a thousand damage. All right, so this one's not so good with Ubel, of course. You know, you know, first form Ubel doesn't attack and destroy. Uh, second form doesn't attack and destroy. Third form attacks and destroys by card effect. This one says when the monster is destroyed by battle. So that's not for Ubel. That's part of not for Ubel, but it is for Ubelic Seas, you know, with me running cards such as Malefic Cyber and, of course, you know, I'm a 4,000 beater, I'm gonna run over your monster, even if you put in defense mode, you're still taking a thousand, because I did destroy you by battle. So, you know, that's just, that's just a cherry on top of this big old wonderful cake that we call Mound of Bound Crater. Like, I'm definitely liking this card. Uh, the reason why I wanted to do this card so early is because, you know, tomorrow you will be getting Ubelic Seas, uh, the way that I've done it and the way that uh, Lunar has helped me is that some guy, I can't remember his name, I apologize, but uh, he pretty much put a lot of the Dragons of Legend cards on YGO Pro. You can't duel people with it, but you can at least duel the computer. So I go ahead, I went ahead, put the files in there, made the Ubelic Seas deck the way that I would like to play it when, you know, Mountain Bound Crater is on DN. And I'm just going to go ahead and test it out against the computer. Now, the computer computer is not the wisest thing, but uh, the fact of the matter is I want to show off the deck and show... You know, that Ubelic Seas isn't the worst deck of Vitamin Y anymore. Like, with this play, sometimes I won't even have to go into Xyz. Like, how interesting would that be to just go, like, get hit, drop a track that's like 3,600, play Mounds and Bounds Crater, and now I got like a 3,000 beater or Malefic Cybran. And, you know, if I need to, I can go into Xyz, go into Chocolate Fudge Covered, uh, Super Galaxy Destroyer, and wipe the back row. I can go into Gustav Max and Blast. Like, I really feel like. This deck is definitely going to be interesting. But I haven't read the last sentence. The last sentence doesn't pertain to the deck at all. But by stating the last sentence, you will pretty much understand what you know what this card was made for. When this card on the field is destroyed by a card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can add one divine monster from your deck to your hand. And now it all makes sense. Yes, it is for the Egyptian god cards. You know, it's for Obelisk and Raw and Slifer. <laughs> but, hey, you know, Yubel is also level 10 and higher, so, you know, I totally don't mind using this card for Yubel. <laughs> I just think it's going to be mean. And, you know, it could be good in the other Yubel decks, but I just want to leave this just for Yubel Xyz, just to boost it up a little bit and give it its own little gimmick. That, in this deck, if I get Mounds and Bound, Mound of the Bound Creator, and Yubel Ultimate Nightmare, and you don't have MST, you're in deep shit. So, uh, definitely, I'm excited to play this card. So, you know, this plus, you know, Obelisk is, you know, kind of, you know, scary. Well, Obelisk already can't be targeted, but at least this time he can't be destroyed by card effects, so, you know, if your opponent uh, mirror forces you or dark holes you, uh, you can still run him over, but, you know, he is a 4,000 beater, just like Malefic uh, Cyber End, so good luck with that. <laughs> so, uh, you know, tell me what you guys think about this card. Be sure to check out Vimin Y tomorrow. Like I said, I'm excited to use this card, and definitely for the card review, this is the first card that I wanted to look at. So, I hope I didn't do too terribly, you know, hopefully I'm kind of like a mega capital G right now. Uh, hopefully I get like a video camera and maybe I can do it outside, or I can do like a live video, uh, similar to how Nim Nim or Silent De Sigma does it. But for right now, uh, I think you guys will be pretty cool with this. So... Uh, go ahead and be sure to help me out with this series. I want to do this series every Tuesday and Thursday at 11 a.m. Pacific Time, 2 p.m. Eastern Time is when these videos will hopefully go up. You know, as long as I got cards to do, like I said, I'm going to be doing a lot of the cards from Dragons of Legends till new cards come out. And then when newer cards come out and it's time for me to review, um, I can go ahead and look at those cards and also do a review on, and discussion about those cards as well. You know, I'll get a lot of help and, uh, you know, from Nim Nim and, you know, Sign to Sigma and Mega Capital G. Every time they look at a card, I can just simply, uh, you know, watch their videos, get their opinion, and maybe their opinions will affect my opinion. So, you know, hopefully that will help as well. 
So, uh, I need your guys' help. Go ahead and comment, you know, any card that you want me to discuss. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be doing a lot of Dragon's Legends, but, you know, eventually, you know, the Dragon's Legends will be all burnt out, and then, you know, I can discuss other things. I can discuss, you know, uh, I saw some people were saying that, you know, maybe discuss some banned cards and see how they would affect the meta if they came back. Um, and, you know, just go ahead and comment and suggest any cards that you guys would like me to talk about. You know, I hope that this series does well. I hope this, you know, uh, brings me up as a YouTuber. I mean, <coughs> oh my god, excuse me. At this point, uh, you know, maybe I'm slowly becoming, you know, a general YouTuber. You know, I'm doing live duels. I'm doing discussions. I'm doing live videos. Uh, when I can, I do pack openings. So I feel like... Uh, I'm getting to the peak of being a YouTuber and also still an entertainer and let's player. So thank you guys for watching this series. Please give this uh, series as much support as you can by, you know, liking this video and all the videos in the series. Be sure to comment any suggestions and I will see you guys on Thursday with another card from Dragons and Legends that I will be talking about. So thank you guys for watching slash listening. Thank you guys for all the support and I will see you guys then. Thanks for watching.